friends in this video we are going to learn a needle loom machine wiring and working before starting video first understand where needle loom machine is used so needle loom machine normally used in weaving company in which belt is manufactures you can see this is control panel of this needle loom machine first understand which component is required for this needle loom machine so first we connect one motor starter in this motor starter we connect one contactor and one overload relay you can see by this starter we run two motor first motor is main motor okay you can see first we connect one motor which is known as main motor when main motor rotate so belt is made you can see this is main motor of this machine okay and second motor is known as winder motor for wind belt okay you can see this is winder motor so we connected two motor first is main motor and second one is winder motor and in main motor we connect to one clutch okay when machine is in stop condition so clutch supply operate and no one can rotate machine when machine is in stop condition so we connect to one clutch okay when machine is in stop condition so machine will be fixed okay so we connect clutch in main motor and also we connect one power mcb one control mcb for 220 volt line supply okay and single pole one is 24 volt ac supply okay so we connected two control mcb first two for 220 volt second for 24 volt ac okay and also we connect one transformer for 220 volt to 24 volt ac okay so transformer is connected for control voltage also we connect one length counter meter by which we can see how much length belt is also made so we connect one length counter meter and we connect one bridge rectifier for ac to dc conversion because as we know in main motor we connect one clutch and clutch operating voltage is dc so for clutch supply we connect one rectifier this rectifier convert ac to dc also we connect to eight pin glass relay for auto warp protection what is auto warp we will learn in this uh, in this video okay so we connect one 8 pin glass relay for auto warp protection and for push button we connect the first stop push button in this stop push button we connect the nc element one is start push button in this we connect the no element and also we connect a selector switch in this selector switch we need to connect to two no first for holding power supply and second one for rectifier supply okay when machine is in the stop condition then supply should pass Okay, so we connected two NO in this selector. First NO for providing holding supply of the motor starter and second for DC power supply. Okay, for rectifier supply. First we connect RYB neutral in power MCB. R phase first connect in conductor L1 terminal, Y in L2 terminal, B in L3 terminal. So power wiring is very simple and also as we know both motor run with this starter. So first RYB connect in main motor. Okay and also we loop this RYB in winder motor okay when starter is operate so both motor should run at the same time okay so we loop RYB in winder motor so power wiring is very simple okay now for control wiring first we need to connect neutral okay so first we need to connect neutral in contactor also in this length counter meter and also transformer so first we connect one connector from this power MCB for neutral power supply. Okay, so first neutral connects in this MCB. Now first neutral connect in contactor. Then we connect this neutral to length counter meter and also connect neutral to this transformer. Okay, so neutral connection is very simple. Now for line control wiring, first we connect a line in length counter meter because length counter meter operating voltage is 220 volt AC. So neutral and line connect from the MCB. Okay, so length counter meter supply is now connection is done. Okay, also for control power supply, first we connect any of the phase from the MCB so first we connect R phase in this MCB you can take any of the phase so we connect R phase to control MCB first this phase comes connect in transformer okay so transformer input power supply connection is now done when control MCB is on so transformer control supply is done okay now for control wiring we take R phase 
and connect in overload relay for overload protection connect this wire in 95 number point of ANC now output is 96 number terminal so connect one connector connect in this stop push button output of this stop push button connect in the start push button when the start push button is pressed contactor should operate so output of this start push button connect in A2 of the contactor okay when the start push button is pressed contactor should operate but contactor should run only when push button is pressed okay so contactor run only manually okay so permanently hold this contactor we need to provide holding power supply okay so for holding power supply we take one connector from output of this nc push button okay in this condition now starter run only manual condition okay when push button press the starter will start for holding power supply we take one connector from nc of output and connect this connector to selector switch no element when selector is in start condition selector is in on condition then this power supply will comes and connect this power supply to relay common okay this relay operate when auto warp if any dhaga is break or any defective belt is made then this relay operate and if this relay operate contactor or starter will stop okay so we use this relay nc point okay because this relay operate any fault condition okay you can see when any dhaga is break then machine will stop because the relay is operate okay and any of the defective belt is made okay you can see then this strip will operate so also this relay operate and if relay operate motor starter will stop okay so relay will stop when any of the fault occurs and if any fault occurs relay operate relay operate then motor starter will stop holding supply is cut so connect the output of the nc connect to contactor a no terminal okay you can see output of nc connecting contactor a no terminal okay when relay operate then motor starter will stop okay so holding supply connect in contactor a no terminal now when you press start push button then selector is in start condition and relay is in stop condition then this supply comes here in this point and connect this supply to contactor coil okay when relay operate then contactor will stop because relay operate only when any fault is occur okay and selector is in a start condition okay so i hope you clear the concept of motor starter holding power supply okay so function is very simple if any fault occur then relay operate then if relay operate then contactor will stop for control 24 volt supply you connect one connector from transformer to control mcb output of this mcb first connect in relay 7 number point which is coil 2 and 7 is coil so positive connects directly in this relay in 7 number point okay so positive connects directly okay now how this relay operate so when earthing wire or zero volt connect in this terminal when earth wire comes when you can see any defective belt is made then strip operate then if strip operate then and also if any dhaga is break then earthing this earthing wire operate relay okay you can see this strip is connect in this connector so earthing wire you can see connect in this strip with this switch okay so this earthing wire comes here and relay operate okay if any defective belt or any dhaga is made break then this relay operate because earthing wire connects in this relay coil to number point okay and if relay operate then conductor will stop okay i hope you clear the concept how this relay operate so positive connects directly and earthing connects from switch which is used for stopping of the auto warp I hope you clear the concept okay now for clutch power supply we need to provide 24 volt DC for this clutch motor okay so when motor is in a stop condition then supply should come in this clutch okay when motor or starter is in a stop condition then this supply comes so we take 24 volt supply from MCB and connect with selector second NO in this selector we connect two NO first NO for holding power supply and second for control AC which is 24 volt okay when selector is stop condition then holding supply will cut and also this NO will operate when selector because selector is single way selector 
if selector is in stop condition then this supply will pass also motor starter will in stop condition okay so then this supply comes here in contactor nc okay when selector is in stop condition and contactor is in stop condition then this supply will comes from this nc we use contactor nc terminal and connect this nc to you can see rectifier ac power supply okay so ac connects from selector second no and contactor nc terminal because contactor when stop then this supply will pass also selector will stop then this supply will pass i hope you clear the concept because sub coil supply will comes only when motor is in stop condition okay so selector is in stop condition then this supply pass also contactor is in stop condition then supply will pass and zero volt connected directly so rectifier supply is simple and output of this rectifier we connect in clutch okay so when motor is in stop condition contactor is in stop condition then this supply will pass and operate clutch supply okay as we know clutch connects only when machine is in stop condition so no one can rotate machine okay i hope you clear the concept in needle loom machine wiring and working if you have any doubt please ask in comments box and also if you have any query please ask in comments box we will try to solve your problems and if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video thanks for watching